What's going on, everybody? It's Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. All right, guys, I'm making this video a little early, okay? A little before the 100% confirmation. And it's going to cover everything that I'm seeing inside the market, how this correlates to previous cycles. I want to break everything down for you to give you guys the best opportunity to prepare over the next couple of weeks. I'm going to cover everything from A to Z. So let's get right into it. First off, here is the market today. Now, Apple had released earlier this morning stating that, listen, the iPhone demand was down a little bit. Part of the biggest reasons is, you know, it's really the same phone. What do you improve the camera a little bit? And it's just only so many times you can really just, you know, reinvent the, the same phone, add a different feature, and here you go. It's almost like, uh, you know, your, your college textbooks, right? The, the 50th edition to get you to buy them. But even with Apple, that's, you know, 7% weighted inside the SPY, you know, very heavy, really couldn't pull down the entire market. And as you can see, SPY is ripped off that 358 level all the way back up to a critical level of that 370, finally breaking above. Obviously, there's still some time in the day for it to hold, okay? But my point being on, on, on today, okay, after seeing this price action, and I said this to everybody inside the group, it seems that we're getting that, that low volume, Okay, that slow pump, and we're not we're not insanely low volume, but that lower volume, that slow pump to the upside, and it just seems that sellers cannot bring down the price, no matter really how hard they try to push. And like I said, I'm making this video, you know, a little early, okay, a little premature, but sellers really cannot, you know, push down the price, no matter how much they try. Every dip just continually gets bought up, and it has the same vibes of every bear market rally that we've seen, okay, over the past, you know you know, few months, you know, especially the, the two previous ones. It's, it's a very slow, steady move to the upside, okay? So this is just a, an intraday, you know, thing to, to take note and go back and look at it and see if this correlates to exactly how you were feeling. Seems like a lot of people were ready to, you know, catch puts at the top, you know, right? You know, because the last few days, every single pop at the open immediately faded all day and we didn't get that today and it was just very slow and a lot of people were waiting and waiting and waiting and obviously like you know we still do have you know about 50 minutes to market close but that's not happening and it gave me that vibe that's the first thing the second thing is take a look at the futures okay so this 3720 3725 area uh has been a very you know critical level very strong level of resistance once we broke through that you know we we, we failed it all the way back on the 23rd we almost retested it here on the 26th, six early on. We retested it, you know, overnight. We retested it on the 26th early on. We retested it twice over here on the 27th. We continue to get rejection, rejected. And here we are testing it, basing still above that 3,700, which was a critical, you know, you know pivot, uh, pivot point for the market. And now here we are finally breaking through that with the next level about that 3,760. Okay, uh, you know, to test once we get through that, it's, you know, levels and beyond I will continue to talk about as we get there. So it's about the fifth time that we've knocked on this level. Okay, and there's only so many times to where, you know, eventually, you know, the sellers and the bears can really continue to push that price down before we, you know, we break break through it. Now, I wouldn't say this action is very bullish. It's not aggressive. Okay, it's not aggressive like you will eventually see it. Even if you're new to the market, you will eventually see when the official bottom is in, you will see that aggressive bullish action, okay, where buyers are really stepping in heavy. And we're not quite seeing that as of yet, which is another indication of a potential bear market rally. Last thing I do want to mention before or inside the charts before I get off of them is where we are at on the weekly candle, okay? So I said I mentioned this a few weeks ago in a Saturday video, I said, look at this shooting star that had formed in the weekly candle. Now, this video is, like I said, guys, a little bit early. It's only end of day Wednesday. We still do have two more days to play out. But I talked about this, you know, what, five, six weeks ago saying, look at the shooting star. We've moved up a good amount to the upside. We're getting to the point of we needs to breathe just a little bit. Now, obviously, the Jackson Hole Symposium, okay, followed by, you know, CPI really did accelerate the move to the downside. But it's also, you know, you know, a good technical analysis, not only the shooting star, which is a, a reversal candle, but seeing this level right here about that 424, where we are on SPY, which was once, you know, very good support turns into previous rejection. And it's, it's, you know, just no question. Now, last week, we did hang on to, you know, this blue line right here, which is the 200. 
Okay, moving average. Now, you know, we bounced off of it going all the way back into, you know, the June, which was the June lows. We retested those. Are we going to form a little bit of that W pattern? Okay, but we did hang on last week, barely. And it looks like we're trying to reclaim, you know, that level, which what we are right now. Now, on the inverse, okay, if this candle closes, all right, this is a very bullish candle. All right, it's got a longer, longer wick to the downside, fully green, buyers of presence and stepping up. Now, like I said, Still two days, but I wanted to make this video just a little bit early, okay? So you guys can really start to plan because if we break through these levels, retesting some of these higher levels, okay, that 390, okay, on the SPY and then back up here on that 407 is not out of the question, gives plenty of room for the rally. Now, September, the month of September is almost over. September was, <laughs> you know, his, his is historically a, a poor month, okay? October can tend to follow. We are getting into a little bit of a rally season, Okay, where the small caps tend to rally in October, especially in November, we get to that turkey crack run. If you've never experienced that, where you know it's it's the it's the week of Thanksgiving where small caps, and even a week ahead where small caps get really really hot and run really hard. A lot of speculation, money starts to flow back in. Some good potentials to the upside. We also do have okay, you know, uh, midterm elections, which you know can cons construe. Now, in the main terms. As you're watching this video and you're thinking, all right, let me, you know, potentially, you know, catch a little move to the upside. Just remember a couple of very important things. Okay. The macros have not changed. Inflation is still very high. All right. You have the Federal Reserve that is continuously raising interest rates. Okay. And obviously we're in, you know, severe global economic trouble. So until that whole macro situation Okay, changes, just know that this is nothing but a rally. You know, play it to the move to the upside. Okay, but until it shows you otherwise, play this, you know, exactly what it is, another bear market rally. Okay, so keep that in mind. Last thing I will mention is this chart right here. Now, this was over the weekend, and the sentiment uh, over the weekend, uh, you know, all over the internet was, you know, we're testing June lows, you know, we've got to bounce, we've got to bounce. Now, you know, put levels came in at the highest, you know, they've seen, especially on the retail side. Um, and I feel like a lot of these have cashed in, had plenty of time to, we didn't get that face ripper, you know, on Monday, but it was definitely overextended to one side. And I've talked about this when one side gets a little bit too crowded. Now, this does not always play out just, you know, a lot of times, obviously, you know, we, you're talking about gamma squeezes, which I know many of you guys are familiar with. It's the accelerated call buying, you know, and the stock price continues to, to move up. More calls become in the money that can actually cause a gamma squeeze. So it doesn't always play out like this. But when you're looking at a bigger picture, like a total market overview, especially on the retail side, okay, when things get a little bit overextended to either the downside or the upside, that's when reversals happen. Big money steps in, plays the other side. Market makers can change it up a little bit. And the put side was just insanely overextended. Okay, so keep that in mind. I, it's going to be interesting to see exactly how this day continues to play out. 370 is a big level. I really hope what I said kind of resonates with you, especially if you, you know, you do watch the charts every single day. Okay, and you remember how these bear market rallies have been that, you know, you're seeing this declining volume, and you're probably thinking to yourself, listen, this move, I'm not going to chase it up here, because, you know, it's extended you know, to the upside, the volumes not backing it up, the price actions very, very slow. But this is how the past two, you know, uh, bear market rallies have been. Okay, so just keep that in the back of your mind. Obviously, if you know, we do get some news, things pull very hard. Okay, this week, we have a lot of Fed speakers. All right, um, you know, this can this video can just be completely invalidated, but look for that weekly candle close right now. If it does close just exactly where it is, all right, we're above that 200 again. It is set up, you know, at a very bullish candle. Um, you know, if we get back up to that 376, 370 level, seven level, okay, especially by Friday, it's good because this this area was uh it will act as some resistance. So we'll be good for for the future, especially just for the short term. So guys, that's it for this video. See you in the next one.